Hi, it's Angie here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Dala inspired horse out of card. In Sweden, Dala horses are made from wood, hand carved, and then brightly painted, and they're given as good luck gifts. As you can see, I've made three different horses. One is based on the traditional Dala design, and the other two are different ways that you could decorate them. The choice is up to you. But for this, you will need paper, white card, colored card. If you haven't got any card, you can always use the inside of a sealed packet. You will also need glue stick, rubber, pencil, scissors, and some felt tip pens. Right, let's get started. The first thing I did was draw out my Dala horse design. As you can see, it's quite a simplified side profile, but this is how the traditional horses look, and it's based on the on this one. Right, so I've drawn it out, worked out where I'm going to have my saddle and the, and the, the design of it. Um, what I did, the next thing I did was I actually cut it out because I'm going to actually use it as a template. And I then cut out two horses out of card because you need two because you need a front and a back because when we stick them together You'll be able to open the legs and then it'll stand up. If you're using the cereal packet, you cut out one horse with the template that way, on the, the, the inside of the card that is. You then turn over the template and cut it the other way so that um, your um, packaging is actually hidden on the on the inside of the horse all right so the next thing you need to do is actually decorate the horse so you can either start by drawing it on so this is the bridle so you can draw it or you could go straight on to with using felt tips I'm going to be brave and I'll have to go with the felt tips I think there we go. All right. I don't think I'm that brave after all. This is the main. You can always rub, rub these pencil marks out. And I do like... I'll just do it like that this time. So take your time drawing this out because it's quite an important part. And then when it comes to decorate, just using your felt tips. You can do whatever design you like. You could do almost do a flower. Oh, it's a bit of a wobbly flower, is that one? But take your time and completely decorate it. So I've just started on that one, but I'll leave you to do that. Then when you finish your design, what you need to do is then stick the two. Okay. You need to stick the two together. So make sure you put your glue, don't put it on the leg so it's just the main body of the horse. There we go. And take your time as you can see I've not done it very well on that one and then hopefully it will stand up yes it has da -da -da. so that's how to do that one now if you want to use the card what I did with the um, the seal card I decorated it with um, handmade paper which is this one and these are all handmade paper that I've done myself. So I'll show you how to do that. And I've just cut out areas and stuck it on the horse. Now my favourite one is the squiddly one that I've used on the, on the legs. So I'll show you how to do that. The squiddly one is so easy. As you can see, it's just a matter of 
squiggles and use different colors. I'm using the blue, I think. We've just got to remember to do a big enough area so you can actually cut out the various bits. I think, okay. You could also do a quite like cross hatch. to do. Very relaxing. You could spend ages doing this. You could do a zigzag. That's quite a nice design actually. I quite like that one. You could do some spots. Do quite a big area. I think you get the general idea. These are some that I used. You can see the bit I cut out there for the back. All right, I'll show you how to do this bit. So for the head, if you just draw around there, go around the ear. Put that out. And you just stick that on. Then what I do is choose, or what colour could I choose to go on next? I could use, use some of that. I could do maybe some more down there. Those two colours can look quite nice together. So you can see how I built it up. I'll just show you this one again. So it's spots there. There's all sorts of different bits I've put on, but I do like that one the best. So. When you've done, that's that one. And the other one I had to go at was, I did another little horse. And this is again, two pieces of card. And I've just used plain card here. And with a silver pen, I've done swirly bits and dots. And I quite like that one as well. So there's, alter <coughs> so you can either do the traditional designed horse or a couple of alternatives. It is entirely up to you. So hopefully you've enjoyed making your horse and if you've got any decent photographs of it, please send them in. That would be great. It would be lovely to see what you've done. Anyway, thanks for listening. Bye.